Hello, I'm Anthony from the Washington Avenue branch of the Albany Public Library. Today, I'm going to offer a few graphic novel recommendations for both kids and teens. These can all be found either in our branches and or our digital platforms, Hoopla and or Libby. If one of the books you want is not available digitally, save the title for when we open back up to the patrons. This round of recommendations celebrate Black History and Black Stories. Our first group of graphic novels has been selected for kids. First up, we have The Case for Loving, The Fight for Interracial Marriage, written by Selena Accio and illustrated by Accio and Sean Quills. This is available in branch only. This is a story about the loving family, Mildred, Richard, Perry, and their three kids. The story follows Mildred and Richard, an interracial couple, as they fell in love, got married, and fought for their love against the state of Virginia. They fought so hard that their case went to the Supreme Court and they won. Next up, we have Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, written by Vashidi Harrison. This is available digitally on Libby. Read about 40 bold black women who are heroes, role models, and inspirational figures for generations to come. Then we have The Little Rock Nine and The Fight for Equal Education, written by Gary Jeffrey and illustrated by Nana Lee. This is available digitally on Hoopla. This story is about the Supreme Court ruling to end segregation in public schools and the brave black students who entered these newly desegregated schools. The Little Rock, Arkansas, 1957, nine African-American students were selected to attend Little Rock Central High School. This turned into the Little Rock crisis as the town was against their enrollment, but the town's people blocked the nine students from entering the building. The vibrant illustrations captured the hate and fear these nine students faced. And lastly, we have New Kid by Jerry Craft. This is an award winner. This is available digitally on Hoopla. The story follows a 7th grader, Jordan Banks, who loves to draw about his life through cartoons. Sadly, Jordan doesn't get to go to school. He wanted because his parents already enrolled him into a prestigious school. He quickly noticed he is one of the very few students of color in his grade. Jordan now has to figure out how to survive into the school's culture and stay true to himself. Then we have Still I Rise, a graphic history of African Americans, written by Roland Lair and Tanisha Nash Lair, and illustrated by Olu Adafo Bay. This is available in the branch only. This graphic novel works to tell the entire history of Black America from pre colonial days to modern times, an impressive and accessible way to learn the history that is not always taught in school. Then we have String Fruit, uncelebrated narratives from Black history written by Joel Christian Gill and illustrated by Henry Louis Gates Jr. This is available digitally on Hoopla. This two part series celebrates heroes and events from early African American history that are typically ignored. Lastly, we have Black History in its own words, written by Ronald Wimberly. This is available digitally on Hoopla. The graphic novel features short introductions and quotes from some of the famous people who helped shape Black history and culture, including Angela Davis, James Baldwin, Spike Lee, and Zadie Smith.